CataractCoach.com. Chopping a soft cataract. Let me teach you the secret to achieving nucleus division in these soft and gummy cataracts. So let me just show you the beginning of the case. This is interesting because we're making two phaco incisions. This is paired incisions on the steep axis for treatment of against the rule astigmatism. It's a 2.8 millimeter diamond keratome, and the patient has about 0.8 diopters of astigmatism at that 180 degree meridian. That's why we place those two black marks on the conjunctiva to show us that. There's the capsule rexus. That's all done. Let me show you the hydrodissection. Now, this patient's relatively young. The patient's only about 60 years old. And we'll do some hydrodissection. You can see this nucleus doesn't have a lot of density to it. So a relatively soft nucleus. So maybe one plus nucleus sclerosis. Maybe two plus at the most. So we'll loosen up the cataract here. Now we're going to use the same phaco settings. The difference is going to be our technique and the foot pedal. So now we'll put the phaco probe in the eye. We don't really need to go to position three to embed the tip. So we're just going to use vacuum. So get the instruments in the eye. The phaco probe goes in the nucleus with vacuum only. So cleaning up that cortex. Here you go. There it is, vacuum only. Chopper goes through, and then it's an incomplete chop. So extra efforts placed to really separate the two pieces. Now we try to bring out one piece from the caps bag, one hemi-nuclear segment, and that comes out nicely. Now we can apply phaco energy. So remember, when it's a soft nucleus like this, don't just buzz into it with the ultrasound energy, because doing that will allow the phaco tip to go right through the nucleus. We're just going to push into the pieces using vacuum only, and then physically push the tip into the nucleus to bury it. When you hear the pitch rise on your vacuum, that's when you bring the pieces up in the anterior chamber or at the iris plane. And so we can emulsify the nucleus relatively quickly. The total energy here is very, very little because it's only used to remove these two pieces and with just a bare minimum amount. So now we'll clean up the cortex. And typical in these eyes with a softer nucleus, there's a lot of cortex that's remaining here. So this will be all normal and we'll clean that up just fine. So again, if you have patients who have softer lenses, softer nuclei, you want to be careful not to buzz through it with the phaco probe. So vacuum only to bring the piece up. And then remember, you have a very brief period of time. The vacuum holding power on a dense nucleus, you can hold it for many seconds. But on a soft nucleus, as you're holding it with high vacuum, that soft nucleus will begin to crumble and then you'll lose the vacuum. So the window of time in which you have to chop the nucleus is a lot less. It's only about a second. So if you go back and rewind this, and you'll see when I put the phaco probe into the nucleus, within one second, we chopped it. And then, remember, the single chop may not be enough. You have to fully propagate it. So after we've chopped uh, the nucleus, spreading the pieces apart, and really achieving that two separation two separated nuclear fragments then they can be brought up into the into the uh, iris plane and finished here's the end of the case lens goes in the capsule bag everything looks great i appreciate you watching hey check out our teaching website cataractcoach.com you'll find a lot of great material there there's even a section just for residents with suggested videos for your level of training check it out